Holly Pan Webb, Adam Dixon, uh, GB captains, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, obviously, the, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics have been delayed by a year, so it's been a long time coming, but it's happening. The torch relay is underway. It, it, it's getting close and it must be very, very exciting for you guys. Um, despite all of the challenges, I just, just wondered uh, how you guys were feeling and how the teams were feeling about things. And we'll start with, we'll start with you, Holly. Um, I think everyone's really excited. So sort of an extra year, um, everyone was ready for it last year. So build the excitement and also for our squad um, having quite a lot of changes over the past two years since the World Cup in terms of obviously coach but also um, new youngsters coming in that extra year has probably actually been a good thing for us to to gel as a squad with with Mark coming in in 2019 so extra year has been really good for us give us a bit more time together um, but I think built more excitement and everyone's very much looking forward to the next few months ahead and hopefully Tokyo. I, I can imagine, yeah. And the same for you, Adam. I mean, just like there must have been all that doubt about whether the games would go ahead, but, you know, it's happening. It must be such a relief. Yeah, huge relief and um, much for the same reasons as the, as the women's squad. Yeah, I think the excitement levels um, are really high at the moment. We're, like, we are so close. There's obviously the, the tension that comes around selection, but if I was to flip it on its head slightly, you know, 12 months ago, we had players who were injured and you know out of the running for olympic selection so actually this this extra 12 months has given some of those guys um you know a bit of wriggle room to to be able to find some fitness and find some form and and make like di life difficult for danny so um yeah i i think we're we're yeah we're, we're well prepared we've we've had enough time to see for these games to be uh you know on the horizon we're, we're um we can't wait to get going well i mean it, like you say it's been a long time coming i mean it's been uh, looking back at the qualification that was that was a long time ago since you guys qualified and, and the, the matches at Lee Valley the Olympic qualifiers where um, Adam you, you guys took on on Malaysia and uh, and Holly it was uh, against Chile I mean Adam can, can you remember what it was like when you when you secured Olympic qualification honestly on a personal level a huge huge sense of relief um, I was you know relatively new into captaincy and I did have these I think it's natural to have some doubts and some trepidation going into you know big games like that I just didn't want to be the captain to lead the team to not qualify for the Olympics so on a personal level it was like like few because it was a pretty intense um, build up a few months um, to those games that were in the, at the end of November um, but I was just really proud of how we went about two games I think if you were to look at the all of the qualification series of you know across the men's um side of things i actually think we we probably put in the most convincing performance and the score lines would reflect that so i look at the pakistan and netherlands game you know pakistan ran them really close um in game one um but i think you know over two games i think we completely dominated malaysia and deservedly deservedly so took the qualification spot and a good Malaysia team as well. So I mean, I mean, it was fantastic. And obviously, onto onto you, Holly. Um, you, you guys took on the Chileans, and um, I mean, that that was. Uh, I guess there were probably some unknowns about Chile. You probably didn't don't, didn't know too much about them. No, I don't think any of us had played them before. So um, it was a it was a potential banana skin, I guess. Um, and similar to Adam, sort of the months leading into those qualifying games were so focused in terms of this is who we're playing, this is what we need to do. And I think both performances for us um, were quite similar in terms of they were convincing and everyone did their jobs and we knew exactly what we were going to do. So I think we were well prepared. Um, and it was a huge sense of relief when, when we qualified, especially, I guess, as um, there was quite a lot of media pressure in terms of <laughs> obviously being Olympic champions in Rio, even though this is a completely different squad. Um, and we needed to qualify so yeah really proud of all the of all the girls and how we got through that and I think the period leading up to it is a really big lesson and something that we want to replicate going into the Olympics to feel as prepared as we did there.